three months ago, four months ago, this was unimaginable in the United States, the land of the free, the home of the brave. And uh, what I continue to bring up, and I know you guys have as well, and I bring it up time and time again because it's important, is that 2010 Rockefeller document, page 18, lockstep, top-down, more authoritarian control with less innovation uh, among growing citizen pushback. And the whole chapter was basically about what we're seeing right now, all on the back of a pandemic. So they've been wargaming this stuff since 2010, and as you know, probably long before that, guys. I would even say that that's what the whole vaccine thing is. You know, that's how old this thing goes, is uh, the idea of being able to convince an entire population to take this heinous concoction of death, basically, out of fear. And that seemed, and to me, that seems like it's more based on the principle of it. Uh, they, may, they might have gotten a lot of people on board through greed, but it seems to me it's the principle of it because it's a, I always see things in a spiritual way. And if a person, in my opinion, if a person comes to believe that they are an immortal, sacred soul living in this body, having an experience, then that will uh, manifest a certain amount of self-reliance and responsibility where you need to, you start realizing you need to take better care of and become more knowledgeable of this body spaceship thing we've been given. And once you do that, all of this is revealed. You realize that the body is this miraculous thing, the immune system, all you got to do is take care of it, eat healthy, uh, and do not rely upon the system to keep you healthy because once you start paying attention, you realize that it's like a game. It's like if you don't do it yourself, you're going to get sick and die. And so it's almost like they're offering this to us. It's almost like there's, a, there's like a pen, a paddock that's open. And they're luring people into it by saying, you know, with fear. And those that are going to submit to fear and allow this needle of, of, of craziness into their bloodstream, into their body's temple, you know, they're going to end up in that paddock. And it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it, like if you were to say a few months ago that this would be happening out in the open, you know. Well, luring is kind. It really, that's a kind way to put it because they're really channeling people uh, towards this idea of mandatory vaccines. And uh, I think it's Jeff Berwick who uh, did a video recently where he showed Bill Gates being interviewed and Bill Gates smiling broadly, chuckling, really enjoying himself, talking about the shutdown of the economy potentially for a year or 18 months until he comes up with a vaccine. Yeah. I mean, this stuff is just so un-American that it, I feel like we're living in Nazi Germany, guys. I mean, people are told they can't go to work in the land of the free and the home of the brave. So you have to stay inside and allow yourself to be bankrupted. Well, I yeah. would say we are living in Nazi Germany. Basically there's a great, uh, out of all the many little conspiracy theories they had about the third Reich. One of my favorites is there was a, a revealed, a released documents of a plan where they would infiltrate all other governments and, and sort of fake a loss of the war where then they can, you know, spread the Third Reich throughout the entire world, at least through the entire Western world and uh, South America and stuff. And it seems like that's what happened. Yeah, Operation Paperclip. Your thoughts, Spiro? Well, you know, this, uh, the vaccine uh, topic, again, is like you said, it's a very controversial topic uh, uh, to a lot of people. And um, it's, it's very taboo. If you, you speak out against it, you're, you know, they throw all kinds of labels and mud at you and everything they can. Uh, you know, and just looking at the, the ingredients that uh, are in these uh, vaccines enough makes you question what is the intent? Um, and, and I have in, interviewed, uh, you know, doctors and nurses about this and um, who have brought up the toxicity issues concerning these very, very toxic ingredients like aluminum uh, as, as put in there as a preservative and, and formaldehyde and, and mercury, which is put in there as a, a preservative. And they, they say that these, uh, they call them adjuvants and very toxic substances. And, uh, but at the same time, uh, a few years back, it, there was a big scandal controversy in Germany where it came out that the politicians and, and certain select few uh, were receiving clean vaccines, vaccines that did not contain a lot of these toxic ingredients. And so there was, uh, you know, a, a lot of pushback from the general public who were claiming there was a, a rightfully so, a two-tiered medical system. So I guarantee you that uh, the Bill Gateses of the world and everything are not going to be taking the same shots as the general public. Um, and overall, it's just 
uh, one aspect of this takeover of, of this transition uh, towards this new uh, digital financial you know digital system of control which i think is going to encompass you know every aspect of our lives that they have been systematically uh, rolling out and, and working on in preparation for a long time and uh, preparing us uh, psychologically for it uh, as as we get closer to the cashless societies and and the smart cities and the internet of things and i mean this is a this is an, a major operation that where the vaccines is very uh, a very important part, obviously, of this as they are pushing it so hard right now. Um, but that's, you know, going to tie into everything else that that's coming down the pike. Uh, and, you know, it ties into, in my view, uh, Bill Gates and his ID 2020 uh, project that uh, is part of the UN 2030 agenda. And it's just amazing to me, you know, to see how, you know, their, their plan under goal 16.9 <clears throat> excuse me, of that 2030 agenda, they have 17 sustainable development goals, sustainable development, um, is to provide everyone on the planet with a legal ID, you know, a digital ID. And uh, so they also want to vaccinate everyone on the planet. And and we've heard about the vaccine certificates, the digital vaccine certificates of immunity. Uh, and so you can't tell me that these things are not all connected. And it's just amazing to me to see how everything that we're seeing, all the solutions to this problem that you know, this crisis that we're seeing right now seem to fall in line perfectly with the UN 2030 agenda. And of, and of course, going back, you know, just looking back to seeing who has, who created, who was instrumental in creating the United Nations and, and uh, their, their climate uh, agenda. And it's, it, it looks like that this crisis, this, in, this pandemic or whatever you want to call it, um, has vastly accelerated their, their programs as we've entered 2020. 